Hi, so this is Isabella and I'm doing another like continuation on my birthday and I wanted to do a little haul for the gifts that I got for my birthday. I keep saying birthday. The amount of times I'll be using that word today in this video are going to be countless, but you know what? It's okay. And I just wanted to show what I got from my family, my friends, and what I bought myself to maybe give you inspiration on what you can get as gifts from others, for others, sorry, and for fun, and I'm very grateful for each and everything that I received or bought myself. So, without further ado, <laughs> I'm going to start with what I got myself, then what my parents got me, and then what my parents got me. So, starting off strong, I got myself two things from Love and Lemons that I, I've been stalking their website for like a really long time and I really wanted to have a reason to spend my money on getting stuff from there, so I decided to do it for my birthday. So, I got myself two bralettes from there and they're both like very different. I'm gonna try to show you what they look like. I'm gonna hope it's focusing. I really love this one with the flower detail and like the mustard strap and also at the back the detail is just like gorgeous like I don't know oh my god I can't do that there we go like that and I feel like it would look so cool with um, like a white tank top over that's kind of like see-through and you see this peeking through with like the mustard strap I feel like it looks so cool and also the second one I feel like would look even better wait a minute this one is like very very bright it's fitting because today's Valentine's Day and there's like hearts and it looks like that and I love the straps that's mainly why I got it I feel like that would look even cooler with the tank top because it like peeks through and you see like the hearts and it's very like neon so you can kind of see it through the tank top and I feel like that's very flattering or even with like a button up and you leave like only two buttons buttoned and then you have like that peeking through I feel like that just looks really elegant and nice and they have a bunch of different like kinds of bras and stuff like that and i really liked it and i feel like it's more of an ethical brand so i was glad that i was supporting that brand um from a free previous video i think i showed this but i wanted to show it again just because you know it was in link in i can't all gang with with okay we have this hoodie that I got. It's a nice sand color with like the, it's by Blue Jade Finds. And at the back it says, go see the world with the globe. I loved it. I saw it on TikTok. And the moment I saw that, I was like, yes, I need this. I need it in my life and I wear it every single day with my green coat and I feel like they look nice because it has like green accents and my coat is green so I thought it was very fitting um yeah I think that's what I got myself on to my parents so first off my parents got me these earrings that I'm wearing right now from from Tiffany's I'm gonna try to close up it's focusing on my face I don't know I think I'm just going to take one off and then I'll just put it back after. So it looks like this. It's like a twirl like that. And I really like them. I wear them all the time if you might have noticed in my videos or at school if you know me. I love them. I feel like they're very like staple jewelry that you can wear like with anything and they're very comfortable they're very nice and i really like them and they're from tiffany's i really like tiffany's so yeah oh my god um sorry i'm like out of breath i keep talking and my parents also got me 100 nasty women of history the book i'm gonna put a picture here i forgot it. it's at school i always bring my books to school and sometimes i just forget them there so i'm sorry about that um Another thing my, my parents got me, which is like the coolest thing, it's this purse from Hohi. And she is she is an Argentinian based creator, I guess. And she creates bags and they are all like ethical, ethically made. And it's like this it's huge. I really like it. I'm so excited to wear it during the summer because I feel like this is very much a summer bag. 
it's like ginormous and it's made out of leather and it's ethically i already said that and it's like metallic and i feel like it's it's such a huge bag so you can fit like a bunch of things you can like fit in your journal your computer your pencil case a bunch of different things if you want to go to the park and journal and read and like catch up with friends you can put in a couple snacks in there and definitely some play cards so yeah i'm gonna try to focus it as you can see i'm gonna if i remember to i'm gonna try to put a link for everything that i purchase if ever you're interested in buying it for yourself or for someone else then definitely go do that um so yeah that's all for my parents and then moving on to friends i'm going to start with one of my closest friends anastasia i've known her I, you saw her in the previous video i'm also going to put a link to that video if ever you're interested in seeing the video from last week keep moving on tangents um she got me a really cool thing she got me this candle from lucia which is like if you know it it's like this organic i think like brand with like made makes like their candles out of soy wax and a bunch of different stuff ironically i already own this one <laughs> i already have it so it's fine i liked it and the coolest thing she got me was this phoenix vinyl if you know who this is this is charlotte cardin she's like one of my favorite singers ever and i really love her music and i keep talking that's the point i have to talk <laughs> i have a record player and i've been listening to this non-stop and this is like my favorite album of hers i think it's also her newest to be wrong and i love that there's the lyrics for every single one of the songs and there's also like this picture book i'm not really sure what you call this but there's like oh wait they're like books it's a book with like all the songs and there's lyrics to them i didn't know that that's cool <laughs> I don't really look, normally look through that stuff and I really like the vinyl because it's like a simple color like I think one side is red and the other is black and then like the circle in the middle is like red yeah I think and she also got me the love hypothesis I'm gonna put a picture here I already read it the moment she got it for me I started reading it I think and I finished it in three days and I already lent it to one of my friends, so that's why I don't have it with me, but I really recommend it. And if ever you're interested in having book videos or book recommendation videos or the book of the month, like the books that I've read in a month, then I will definitely try to do that. Last month in January, I, I read like one book. So, um, you know, we're trying to get out of a slump and it's okay. So... So far in January, I've read one book and I'm reading The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood right now and it's pretty cool. I like started nine pages in, so, so far so good. And I'm also reading like school books for school, so that's like, you know, others, but it still counts, I guess, so. Yeah, and then from two of my other friends, Athena and Noya, they got me oh wait i forgot my i forgot my brother got me a gift too and i forgot to put that in the so we're gonna do that i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry if you're watching this Seba. i'm sorry um my brother got me this tennis skirt from lululemon oh my god i can't hold things right and i really like it i can't wear it now because it's freezing cold i don't know if it's focusing and but you know it's freezing and i'm not playing tennis outside because you know it's minus 20 but i'm so excited for the summer my brother and i like to play tennis together during the summertime so this will definitely come in handy and it's the same color as like one of my lululemon tank tops like the line one so they like match together and i can wear it with like a bunch of different um tops and i really like the color and I definitely recommend these. They have built-in shorts inside. I'm going to try to, like, show them. I'm going to try. Built-in shorts. And they also have, like, a side pocket. And as you saw earlier, they have a pocket in the back. And inside, they also have a drawstring if you want to tighten it at the waist. So, I'm sorry about that. I forgot to mention that earlier. But, yeah, I'm really excited about it. 
and I also realized that I forgot something else to show about myself, but you know, we're gonna keep that to the end. So, continue on from Athena and Noya. They got me some amazing stuff, some amazing things. So they got me this book, Women Don't Owe You Pretty. I feel like a lot of people, if you're on Pinterest, you definitely know this book. And I'm really excited to read it. I feel like this is the kind of book that you read like a chapter every single night before going to bed or like every morning when you wake up kind of thing. Because otherwise, I feel like if you read it like, like a normal book, just like nonstop, it loses its essence of really just like, you know, it's pow. So I think I'm going to stick to doing that instead of like reading as a regular book because it's definitely like those kinds of books where you just read a chapter a night and you really like reflect on what you read and put it into action, I guess. But it's really cool on the inside. Like it has a really like, it kind of has like that, um, I don't know how to explain it, like this plasticky, like uh, shiny kind of page, if that makes sense. It's like a magazine kind of material. So yeah. And they also got me this necklace from Brandy Melville, I believe. Oh my god, why is it the wrong way? Okay. It looks like this. It has a butterfly and like beads like that. And the real it's really, really pretty. I really like it. I just haven't gotten to wearing it because of my nails and I can't really do much with them. And they also got me a pin that I already have on my bag which is way over there but it's like um a tiny pin and it's like an angel and it says heaven sent something like that it's really cute and they also got me some stickers that I've already st sticked onto my water bottle this water bottle is ah, my holy grail holy, I guess yeah they got me this sticker also oh my God, there you go this one this one and this one and i also had like other two that i stuck onto my computer so yeah and last but not least the gift that i got myself that i forgot to mention earlier i also got myself this lululemon brown what color you would call this like the camera's kind of doing it dirty but it looks like this <laughs> it looks so bad uh, I swear, it's like a purplish brown color. And, oh, I feel like it kind of looks nice with like these together. I feel like that would be a nice look, especially in the mornings when it's cold during summer sometimes. I think that's a fun look. I was re-looking through the video to make sure that I, you know, filmed everything properly. And I forgot to mention that from Anastasia, she also, I don't know, I, I think this is important to mention for it to be fair. <laughs> um she got me a bag of vegan candy plant-based candy and also from athena noy they also got me a 25 dollar gift card for indigo i'm sorry i forgot to mention that i didn't have it on hand with me at that very moment so i forgot to mention it but very excited to go spend that money so yeah i'm just wanted to put that in just to not forget to mention it now back to the video so that's what I got for my birthday. I oh wait, okay, and also from two other of my, three other of my friends, Adivia got me some Skittle bags, a bag of Skittles that I already finished with my family, and Amelia got me a forty dollar gift card from Lululemon, and Sophia also got me a thirty dollar gift card from Lululemon, so I have money to spend there. So I think the essence of this video is really I like Lululemon, but um, I'm very grateful and thankful for each and every person who took the time to get me something and thought about their gifts and I'm very grateful for my friends, my family, and for myself, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I don't know, I think I, birthdays are kind of like a weird moment because you don't know whether to feel excited about the fact that you're turning older or to be sad about the fact that time is moving so much faster than you actually like realize because sometimes you're like oh my god like i'm still this age or i feel like i've been in this moment forever but then you realize like time is actually moving and it's moving really fast and i don't know sometimes it's hard to like realize that in my mind that i'm like older so i don't know i'm 15 is like, an exciting upgrade <laughs> upgrade and i don't know i know a lot of people can be like really negative when it comes to their birthdays or really sentimental but 
when I was younger, I would be really happy that I was growing older and oh my God, sorry. And I feel like the older you grow up, the sadder you feel that you're going older. I don't know. That could be wrong. I that's what I think. I don't know. Like I feel like once you hit a certain age, you kind of like are sad. That you're, I don't know. Are you happy? I feel like I'm at the point in the age that it doesn't really matter because it's kind of all the same. I feel like 14 and 15 are kind of like the bleh, and like 17 are kind of the meh and 19 age. I feel like those are just like kind of like unimportant, well not unimportant, but you know what I mean. And I feel like 13, oh my god, you're a teenager, 16 sweet 16 which is like the american thing because i feel like 15 it could be really important to like um latin america because you know quinceanera and everything so i guess it depends for every culture like what is most significant and then like when you're 17 it's not really that like important and 18 you're considered an adult in canada and i think in europe and then like in america 21 it's like wow like really cool but for us it's not that amazing like it's not that crazy of like a moment in age that you hit so i don't know i guess every person every culture depends like you know where you're from and what is important in your culture but i'm excited for what this year has for me has in stock has in for me and yeah it's gonna be an interesting year it's gonna be full of adventures that (sighs) i'm excited i'm scared it's going to be different and i am excited for my youtube channel because i have so much fun making videos and i hope you have fun watching them and i hope they bring some joy for you and they make you happy and this is always a safe space and i'm always happy to make videos and i'm always excited and if ever you have suggestions for anything that you might want to see or anything you want me to improve on i am definitely here to acknowledge that so yeah i'm glad that you came here and that you watched my video and i hope to see you next week next week i'm thinking of making another school vlog yeah a school vlog because i already filmed a bit today and it was a really nice sunny day so i think i'm gonna stick to doing that but if you have anything in particular that you want to see again i love reading depends but like i like to read so if you have any book suggestions or if you want to see book related videos or anything of that kind of sort then i'm definitely here on board for that so i also got myself a night lamp like, like a book night lamp that you like clip onto the book i felt so cool i felt like i was on book talk i was like i am an official reader so yeah also excuse the pimple that was on my face this entire video i am a blooming teenager so i keep trying to conclude and then it never concludes and then i go on to like different topics but this is the official conclusion thank you for watching i hope to see you next week again any recommendations, any improvements, anything that kind of thing in the comments. And I will, like I said, I'll try to link in everything that I got or at least that I bought myself because I don't really know like for like my friends where they got things and some things are like obvious where you can find them. So yeah, I'll see you next week and I hope you have a lovely week. Sorry, I can't say so yeah anymore. Bye.